Okay, so today I am bringing you a revolutionary packing video. I have changed my mind about the best way to pack and I've actually decided that I have been packing wrong and I have been telling you to pack wrong. So today I'm going to set the record straight. I'm going to share with you how I packed for my recent week-long trip to Phoenix, Arizona. So glad that you're here. So if you're new here, hey, I'm Jen. I travel at least once a month for my job. I am married to an airline pilot and I actually grew up as the daughter of an airline pilot. So I've been traveling literally my entire life. But right now, let's dive right into what I took on this week-long trip to Phoenix in only a carry-on. So this trip was going to be with family. It was going to be very relaxed. There were no formal occasions. I knew there would be a couple of dinners out. And any of you that have been in Phoenix in the summer, I actually lived there for 15 years. So you really want clothes that are practical, cool, and comfortable. So dresses were the name of the game and specifically dresses in really nice breathable fabrics that were super easy to wear. So what I have here is a stack of all of the dresses. I also have some shorts and t-shirts as well as my swimsuits and my swimsuit cover-ups. The house that we rented through VRBO had a beautiful pool so I knew I'd want you know at least two to three swimsuits and then just the obvious stuff right pajamas underwear socks all of those things also because we were renting a house i needed a few more toiletries than what i usually use uh shout out to those of you that recommended the lush shampoo and conditioner the uh, solid bar i took those for the first time absolutely loved them and how great that they didn't take up any space in my liquids bag. Um, normally, I do not pack my liquids in a separate bag because I am TSA pre-check, but so many of you always would have questions about it. I was like, okay, this time I'm going to go ahead and put my liquids in a liquid bag. I was able to do that super easily, um, mostly because of that palette by pack that I also have fallen in love with. So um, yeah, that thing really does hold it, it you think it's not going to hold enough of like your night cream or your serums or whatever to last a whole week but it totally does because you use way less of those things than you think so definitely check that out if you've been looking to pare down your liquids and toiletries now as i had everything laid out on the bed i thought okay i don't know if this is going to work or not so let's go to the footage of me actually packing it all up showing you real time how my mind was blown and then we're going to come back here and talk about it. been telling you guys how to pack wrong, at least how to pack wrong if you have an away suitcase. This suitcase is the away bigger carry-on. I'm going to show you how I was able to pack it with the packing cubes. I'm stunned at how much I was able to fit in here. And honestly, I was a little skeptical when I started the experiment. So if you're not familiar with the away bags, you have the two sides. Uh, this will fit in the overhead on all of the U.S. domestic carriers. Always check with your airline, but I have never had a problem with this bag fitting in the overhead. This side is just an open compartment. Then you have this part here with this zipper, and I'm going to undo this so I can show you. Um, where you can just put various things. I am really trying to do a better job of utilizing this entire space because as you can see, I still have a little bit of wiggle room in here, which is probably good because one of the reasons I'm going is to celebrate my birthday with my family. So I may have a few goodies to bring back. Um, but this compartment is super great for all of those little things. That's where I ended up putting that pill organizer, the soap that I needed, my toothbrush, which is brand new and still in its packaging. Um, what else did I put in here? Socks I put in here, those ball caps. And then this is the part that I'm a little stunned by. Okay, so, and I'll show you the other side too, because that will blow your mind. But these are those packing cubes. 
I have one more bathing suit to go in here. I actually just bought it at Target, y'all. It's so stinking cute, but I washed it. Because um, you always want to wash a bathing suit before you wear it. Um, and that one more will go right in there. But I have my bathing suits and cover-ups here. I have shoes here. Those are my um, Tory Burch uh, Dream uh, sandals. Super cute. I love those because they'll work by the pool and they will also work with the dresses that I brought. So I really only brought two pairs of shoes and then the pair that I'm wearing. This little love sack um, backpack, which I will use if we go hiking or also works as a pool bag, or if I need to on the way back, um, bring this and then check this bag if I have, you know, bigger things that I want to bring back or whatever. This one has, what is in here? My workout clothes, my pajamas, and my underwear are in this cube. Then I have my toiletry bag. I did decide to go back with the Away toiletry bag, which I had switched into a different one, but then really realized, again, because all of the Away products are sized to fit in the Away bags, that that utilized the space better. So that's everything on this side. And then on this side over here, now this trip, as I said, is all about the dresses so on this side over here, I have this giant packing cube that look, I, that just, I don't know what that is. That just feeds my soul <laughs> that it fits so beautifully. I basically have all of my regular clothes in here. So this has the dresses that I'm bringing, um, three pairs of shorts, three t-shirts, um, some, I think it has one more pair of workout shorts are in here and it all just fit so beautifully. And then over here, these are my other, um, running shoes. I'm wearing my little white casual tennis shoes on the plane. And then these are the ones I prefer to wear for like longer hikes, walks, whatever. Those are there all zipped up in my compass rose packing cube because I'm still utilizing those, especially since they fit so perfectly right there. That little charger I showed you fit perfectly right in there. Hello, it's Editing Jen. I realized that I mentioned this as though I had talked about it and I didn't talk about it. And I know one of you will say, wait, time out, what was that? Okay, so this was given to me by my son as a gift. I mentioned it on Instagram and I really wanted to wait until I had used it before I told you that it will change your life. I have now used it and it will change your life. So let me show you. And I think I can do this one-handed. It comes in this little gray case. You can get this at the Apple store. There's your charging cable and your little brick. And then this is the game changer. It opens up just like this. So you only need one plug. It plugs in right there. Okay. It, it doesn't, you don't charge this. You just plug this into the nightstand or wherever. This is for your Apple Watch, and let's see if I can do that one-handed. That pops up like that, so you can put your watch on there to charge. This will charge your phone, and this will charge your AirPods. So I was able to put this on the nightstand at the rental house, which, you know, something like a rental house, they're not going to have um, USBs and all the outlets that you need. One plug, plug in right there, and I've got all three of my devices that I need to charge can be charged. This it, it worked beautifully. It's definitely going with me on my upcoming cruise. And yeah, this, this is a great thing. So I will put an affiliate link down in the description box. If you want to buy one, I would appreciate it if you would use my link. Um, I have not seen it anywhere but the Apple store, but always check around. If you can get a much better deal somewhere else, do that. Um, but yeah, if you're going to buy it from Apple anyway, use my link because it's a good thing to do. And then my little um, jewelry case just slid down in there and again was the perfect depth of the bag. I still have a little bit of space there and because this has become like playing Tetris to me, I'm a little obsessed um, with fitting in all the different spaces. But y'all, I have never had my bag like close so easily before and it didn't even look, you know, pregnant like when I got it all um, put away. Uh, we're going to have to have a conversation about this because this is challenging everything I thought I knew about the differences between the packing cubes and all of that. Yeah, this is my new way to go. Uh, amazing. Okay, so here's what the difference was. And I realize this is going to sound super dumb of me, but it didn't occur to me that the reason why these away packing cubes would be so perfect is because they are the exact depth of the bag and the exact width of the bag. So they are designed to fit 
perfectly. And the key to really utilizing all of the available space is to make sure that you can, you know, it's kind of like a, a game of, of Tetris, right? You've got to fit everything in and then you can squeeze things in between. Now the packing cube that I was the most impressed with, and I'm sure that you noticed this in my, you know, mind blowing video when I got it all in there, was this really, really large one. This held so much. And you guys, I can't tell you, like I had looked at these online so often and I was like, what is the big deal? I mean, they're just like any old cheap old Amazon packing cube that I could buy, but it's the size of them. So if you can find these exact same dimensions um, in a less expensive set on Amazon, I encourage you to go ahead and do that. Uh, the zippers on these away ones are really, really nice. And here is really the big takeaway for me. And the thing that I really want you to take away from this video, no matter what luggage you own, if you own um, Monos or however you pronounce that, if you own the base luggage, B-E-I-S, which again, how is that pronounced? I have no idea. You could tell I never have the sound on when I listen to Instagram ads. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Uh, maybe you own Samsonite luggage, you know, any of the big luggage names. Maybe you own Toomey luggage. Make sure to check and see if they carry packing cubes that are designed specifically to go with that luggage. It really makes a difference. I had more room than I've ever had. My family showered me with gifts. I was able to fit the gifts back in there. I was honestly stunned. And also when I got to my destination, how organized everything felt and how I could just, a lot of us are a little bit germaphobic about the insides of drawers, whether that be in a hotel or a VRBO like this was. So being able to leave the clothes in the packing cubes just gave me that little bit extra peace of mind. Um, yeah. I, I, I have found my new way to pack. I apologize if I have led you astray in the past, but I think if, especially if you have the Away Bigger carry-on or the Away carry-on already, these packing cubes are a must-have and I am absolutely thrilled. Now, I bought the bigger set. There are two different size options. I think I could have gone with the smaller set, um, but I love that it came with this really, really big one. This size here, um, this one here, um, this this guy here, and then I think there there's, am I missing one? Um, am I sitting on one? No, there was also a smaller one that, oh, here it is. <laughs> she was on the floor. Um, this little kind of baby one. And then as you could see, I also still utilize those Compass Rose packing cubes and I use those for my shoes and they did just nestle in there perfectly. So I'm thrilled. I feel like I am really prepared for all of the trips coming up. Speaking of which, there are loads of them. So if you enjoy this video and you want to see more content about travel, home, organization, lifestyle, all of the things, I would love it if you would subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, there was no sponsor of today's video because of my wonderful patrons. So if you want to join us over there, um, there'll be a link somewhere up here, but also I will have that down in the description box or you can just go to patreon.com slash Jen LaForge and it will give you all the information. Whatever you're doing today, I hope you're finding joy. It is great to be back with you guys and I'll see you next week. Bye!